Good evening, everyone. A proposal to bring new jobs to Scott City is also raising some serious concerns. An existing company, North American Tie and Timber, wants to expand and build a facility to treat railroad ties, but to do that, they would be using some toxic chemicals, and they'd be using them right near the center of town. The proposed site for the building is between Main Street and the railroad tracks. Now, those chemicals collectively are called creosote. The vapors can reportedly irritate the skin, damage the eyes, and if ingested, can cause kidney or liver problems, unconsciousness, or even death. Sheree Honeycutt spent the day following the story. She tells us why even the city's acting mayor says he doesn't want it in city limits, period. It's like having a dump right across the street. Across the street from homes, businesses, and downtown Scott City, North American Tie and Timber is looking to expand its business by treating railroad ties with a chemical mixture known as creosote. We're hoping with the pollution that they're going to put in our air and the potential fire hazard that we can, they'll just stop. They won't come into town. Mayor Pro Tem Norman Brandt says the company's business manager, Alvin Bates, surprised him with the proposal. They asked for a building permit for storage building, but they sent us plans for a creosote plant. It, it was... Uh, totally different. City Council minutes from September 11th show Mr. Bates attended the meeting and said they plan to move forward. Three Sons Automotive is just across the street from the proposed lot. The owner says he's not worried about the development and believes regulations will keep toxins out. Corwin Easley works across the street as well but sees things differently. Yeah, I can imagine a lot of ramifications of property values in the area people living in this area considering moving if, if they were already along those lines <clears throat> you know that being the in the end of it mayor brant says he hopes they can figure out a solution this is railroad town realize you got to have tracks and to hold the tracks you got to have ties but there's got to be places outside of city limits for this stuff not right in the middle of a town in scott city sheree honeycutt heartland news Mayor Brandt says this is still in the very early stages and there are a lot of steps the company will need to take. We reached out to Mr. Bates for comment, but we're unable to leave a message.